Good morning, Visayas. Good morning, Cebu. It's 9.30 in the morning, December 10, 2021. This is Shanine May Fajardo, serving you the latest issues and updates of the hour. A tropical cyclone is forecast to enter Philippine area of responsibility on Tuesday, December 14, and expect to cross central Visayas with a 90% probability of hitting Cebu City. Live at Pag-asa Center, here is Jolina Dinopol to give us some updates. The Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration Pag-asa said that the weather disturbance is projected to develop into a tropical depression Tuesday and will also be named Odette once it enters part. From there, it is further seen to intensify into tropical cyclone and travelers between Visayas and Mindanao on Thursday and Friday. In the next two days, Pag-asa projects shall disguise with scattered moderate to heavy rains over central Visayas. Thereafter, heavy to intense rains may be expected. According to forecast, Cebu City would experience wind speeds of up to 65 km on December 16 to 17 and rainfall up to 80 mm or 400,000 barrels per square kilometer or more. Based on the color-coded heavy rainfall warning, 150,000 drums per square kilometer is already under the red warning. Rama has already instructed concerned departments and residents to prepare for the typhoon this early. Rama sent early warnings to those living on the hilly side or landslide prone areas and those along waterways and coastlines. This is to encourage all the Cebuanos to prepare for the coming tropical depression or death and to evacuate early to the nearest evacuation centers as it is expected to hit the Visayas on Wednesday or Thursday. This is Janina Dinopol reporting. And that is the latest news in the country. Again, this is Janine May Fajardo reminding you to prepare, evacuate, and pray. It's safe, everyone. So what are the elements of Lesbos model that can be applied to this scenario? The communicator in this scenario is the newscaster and the message that will be delivered is that according to PAR, the weather disturbance is projected to develop into tropical depression and it will also be named as a death once it endears to PAR. While the channel that is being utilized in this scenario is television through channel verse newsroom the message was delivered to everyone who was watching and listening to the news report and with the effect that everyone will be aware of the impending typhoon and will be able to prepare for it. 